we focus on the breath because it gives us a good foundation here in the present moment. It's like a post that you tie different animals to. And the animals are on leashes, and as long as their leashes are tied to the post, they don't go very far. If there is no post, suppose you have an alligator on one leash, and a bird on another leash, and a snake on another one, and a dog on still another one, then wherever the alligator wants to go, it's going to pull all the other animals with it. And they're all going to die in the, in the river. But everybody's, if everybody's leash is tied to a post, then no matter how much strength the crocodile has, it can't pull very far, and it can't cause the other animals to die. In the same way, when the mind is with the breath, everything is gathered right here. And as for any ideas or desires or greed, aversion, and delusion that would pull off away from the present moment, as long as you're firm in your determination to stay with the breath, those other things can only go so far, and then they stop. And when you've got the mind right here, then you can see it clearly. When your attention is scattered around all kinds of different things, it's hard to keep track of everything. It's like a mother chicken looking after her baby chicks. She gathers this chicken under her wings, and the other chicks go running out. It takes her a long, long time to gather things together. And when they're running around like that, you can't really see them clearly. You pay attention to one chick, and other chicks are getting into trouble. You turn around and try to take care of those, and the, the ones behind your back are getting into trouble. But if you've got everything gathered right here, everything that happens in the mind is very present. Right, It's right here in front of you. Then you can see what's going on. That way you can get some insight into it and learn to see how you're causing yourself unnecessary suffering and how you can stop. But it happens only when everything is gathered. So try to stay as gathered as possible. This is the last full day of the retreat, so make the most of this golden opportunity. The weather is right. The place is quiet. So take full advantage of it. 